and welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Torres and this is Manolo. Um, we are going to start this video, but before we do, I wanted to tell you guys about our very special sponsor um, for this video. Our video today is sponsored by Inbox. Now, for those of you who might not have heard of Inkbox before, these are temporary tattoos that last up to one to two weeks, um, depending on where you put it and your skin type. Now, I have played with them before, and I've had a lot of fun being able to create my own design and also having really cool designs available. I then wanted to show you guys the process of putting on a tattoo, um, showing you how it looks after 24 hours because you place it on your skin, you do the process, and then 24 hours later, it kind of reveals on its own in your darkest form. Um, and yeah, so let's not waste any more time and let's get to the fun. Okay, so my friends from Inkbox have sent me a lot of options, and I wanted to show you guys one of them. And and explain the process of how to put it on and so on so let me just show you what comes inside a kit once you open it up you get three um, pieces inside your kit now this is what your kit has so first thing obviously is the tattoo for example this one is really cool because it has like a nice little rose um, design and then you also have your primer wipe and following your primer wipe you do have your protective seal um, which is to put over the tattoo once you place it on your skin so I decided to go for this really cool female body tattoo which is just straight gorgeous lines you see the silhouette of her curves her boobs um, her arms but it's faceless um, I think it's really really cool I want to apply this one so let me just show you the process of how I did it so so the first thing I did was rub the primer in circular motions for 30 seconds make sure that the area is completely disinfected and clean before you put on the tattoo second part is you peel off the tattoo and then you apply it onto the skin make sure that you peel off the white paper and leave the clear um, tape with the design of the tattoo that's the part that goes onto your skin so be very aware of that once you have it in the desired area you go over it with your protective seal and you make sure that it's completely protecting your tattoo and that's pretty much it now you just wait 60 minutes and after the 60 minutes you have your really cool tattoo and now to show you guys my final tattoo the one that i decided to go for the one that i'm featuring today and i'm gonna be probably be wearing for the next two weeks which is this gorgeous female body silhouette tattoo i think it looks so freaking cool i like that i have a little freckle on my arm kind of makes it look like it has a nipple um and then the silhouette of the body you kind of see the little v it's designed beautifully and i'm so excited you guys to be rocking this kind of makes me want to get a real tattoo so one of the reasons i really like using inkbox is because it's such a cool and fun uh, um, way to get a tattoo if you're someone like me who's terrified of commitment I have always wanted a tattoo, but I can't come up with what I want I don't know if the place that I want it to be is going to be the best You don't know so as you guys can see right here I already did one where it says beautiful right here on my wrist I learned so much about putting a tattoo in this area something that I would have not known and not something that I would like to learn later after putting on a real tattoo um, now I know that this is an area that moves a lot so then the tattoo is going to be disturbed so I would personally prefer to put my tattoo in an area that doesn't move as much I'm not sure if I'm ready for that commitment but for now I'll definitely be using my ink box um, for a long time until I'm ready for an actual tattoo and even later on I might still wear these because they're so much fun they're easy you don't have to wet it it's a, such an easy process um, so if you guys are interested in playing with inkbox check the website right here and all the information will be in the description box below thank you guys so much for watching please don't forget to like subscribe and leave a lovely comment and let's get ready for the video Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Torres and as you can see by the title, we're up to another haul. Um, I know a lot of you guys have been asking and questioning why I haven't been on YouTube as frequently as I used to and it's because I'm trying to still figure out what I want to do here. I'm still trying to give you guys content. I'm also working on a lot of fun projects off of YouTube. So if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you're following me there. Um, there's going to be a lot of fun content coming here on YouTube as well. So just be patient, just get ready. There's going to be some travel content, which I know you guys like to see from me. There's also going to be a lot more hauls, um, maybe transformations, maybe makeovers, things like that. Let me know what you guys want to see. Um, I also really want to start sharing vlogs with you guys. So if that's still something that you guys are interested in, let me know in the comment section below. But let's not kill any more time. Let's just get right into it and let's start this um, LP haul. 
First of all, I didn't even plan this, but I'm actually wearing Eloquii right now. This is an Eloquii dress. Um, and it comes with a matching belt, but I decided to wear this belt, which is from, I believe, uh, ASOS or Eloquii? Is this Eloquii as well, actually? I think this might be Eloquii. Yeah, it is Eloquii. So the belt is Eloquii, the dress is Eloquii, it's like a blazer dress. Um, I really, really love it. I think it's still available. I'll link it down below, everything that I'm wearing. The belt, I know you guys asked me in every video that I wear it, but it's not available anymore. Um, but if I find a cool belt, I'll link it. If not, we can probably do a plus size accessory haul. Is that something you guys are interested in? Let me know in the comment section below, of course. So I don't know if you guys follow Eloquii on Instagram, but I do, and I'm usually making sure that I'm up to date to their collections. Because once they drop some things, are really, really gorgeous, and they run out really, really fast. And recently, they launched their um, Weekender collection, and it had really cool items that um, I wanted to try on. So my friends were kind enough to like send them over to me to try on. I will be honest, the first uh, set of, of things that I got were all in a 22, didn't really fit. So we have to send those back, and they send me the new items in a 24. Um, so now I'm going to be showing you guys the items. The first item I'm going to be showing you guys is this dress from Eloquy. It's a slip dress. You guys, slip dresses are my favorite kind of dress. They're just so easy to wear. They just make me feel sexy when I'm not even trying. I can wear with heels, booty, sneakers, and I will always feel sexy. Um, so this one is this really cool print, you guys. So it's like a leopard print, but with a brown, reddish undertone in the background. Um, I also seen they have a jumpsuit, which I do have as well, and a jacket, skirt, and other items with this same print. Um, just so you know, I am trying it on in a 24, and let's see how it fits. Dress this on, and like I already knew, I feel so sexy. I feel so pretty in this dress. Um, it is a size 24. Down below, it goes really straight through. Here in the center, the body and the belly area, it kind of is like form thing, but not in a way that I feel too tight or uncomfortable. It's literally so perfect. I can wear a turtleneck under this. I can wear this with booties. I can wear this with the uh, boots, um, the white boots that you're going to see in a minute. Um, I can wear it in many multiple ways and not just in the summer. Um, that's what I really like about this slip dress. The color, the print is fun. Um, yeah, I feel like I can even wear this without a bra. You can just tighten the straps up a little bit, and I'm good. Let me show you a little bit from the back. What do you guys think? I almost feel like rolling this up a little bit and showing some leg. I really like this dress. I can't, I can't say anything else. I really like it. So I mentioned to you guys before that the first set of items that I received did not really fit. Um, there were like one or two things that actually did fit because I ordered in the correct size. So the first dress that I show you was in a 24. That's the one that I wanted to try on because I wanted it to be a little bit looser. And it actually just fits about right as you guys can see. Um, now the next one that I came in is this jumpsuit in a 22. So this is like a denim fabric type of style. It's really cool. I've seen it on my friends. Um, and they look so beautiful wearing it and they were all different body shapes and for some way, somehow, they all just look good in it. I have a friend who's an hourglass, another friend who was like an apple shape and she still look good. Like two completely different bodies look great in this jumpsuit. So I was like, hold on, is this like a magical jumpsuit that's gonna look good on everybody? I think it is. Let's try it on and let's figure it out. By the way, this is a 22. Um, so I actually didn't even size up for this one. I just wore my 22 um, that I usually wear with Tori, Tori, um, that I usually wear with Eloquy. Um, so let's see what happens. I didn't have to size up. 22. Here we go. The jumpsuit is on and it's fitting like a motherfucking glove, you guys. I have not worn a jumpsuit that has been this tight and I've been so comfortable in it. Um, let me just show you. Manolo's right there, just looking at me, but guys, this jumpsuit, it's extremely tight, um, and I don't mean tight in a bad way, I just mean it's form-fitting. You can totally see my body shape right here, um, but I feel completely comfortable because I feel like I can still like squat, do whatever I want, twerk, make it clap, and I'd be comfortable. Um, it's completely, completely, it fits my body so perfectly, I am 5'3", five, 5'4", five, on a good day, and, and you guys, it's hitting right above, uh, right under my ankles in a completely normal, fine way. I could hold them up a little bit when I'm wearing booties, but I just wanted to show you guys how it looks 
on without adjusting it in any way, shape, or form. It does have a nice little belt, which I think is pretty hard to notice, um, but it really doesn't do much. Um, it's just kind of, I guess, to accentuate your waist or whatever you want, but it's really cool. You could swap out the belt if you want, like I did with my dress earlier, um, but if it's completely comfortable, I'm shocked that this is a 22 because most of Eloquise items I have to go to a 24. This one's a 22 and it fits perfectly. I feel like if I go up a size, it's probably going to be a little bit too long on the sleeves because the sleeve is perfect, maybe a little too loose on the butt part, but the butt here is perfect. Um, it just fits perfectly. I'm actually really obsessed. I might pack this up for a trip that I'm going to be doing in a few days um, to Europe, so I'm excited. <laughs> what do you guys think? Is this something that you guys would want to like wear? Would you actually wear this item? Let me know every item that I've been trying on, which one you would wear, which one you wouldn't, and let me know why. I'm literally taking it off right now, but I just wanted to remind you guys that I did say that it was denim. However, it is that stretchy type of denim, so that's why I feel like it's really comfortable. It is a little hard to put on and to put, um, take off because of the sleeve situation. Like it's a little, like really adjusted to the body, so it's a little hard, but nothing that you can live, you know, or you can't do. The next item I'm showing you guys is this gorgeous skirt. So this is like a leopard cheetah. Is this a cheetah? Yeah, I think this is like a cheetah print skirt. Again, part of their Weekender collection, if I'm not mistaken. So it's supposed to be really like adjusting to your body, like really form-fitting, but at the end it kind of like slips out a little bit. Um, you can see by the detail on the skirt, I don't know if the camera's catching it, but there's like a stitching that kind of goes down like that. So it kind of makes it a little bit more comfortable. Again, I'm wearing this in a size 24. Let's try it on and what do you guys suggest actually wear with this? I'm going for like a white t-shirt or like a rock tee and probably a pleather jacket over it. That's what I'm thinking. Now that it's getting a little bit colder, maybe a turtleneck. I don't know, I'm open to suggestions. So let me know down, down in the comment section below. But let's try it on first and let's see if we like it, if it fits properly, if we would have to size down, size up. I hope this works. So when I saw this skirt, I knew that I really wanted to have it part of my collection. I love how romantically it moves from side to side. Um, it's such a cute item that you can just wear with a black or white plain top, with a printed top, whatever you want to do. I feel like this is such a pretty skirt. Um, I do like that I can like move my legs and not feel restricted with this type of material. It's kind of pretty restricting in most occasions when you have a skirt like this. But with this one, which by the way I am wearing a 24, um, I have the room in my thighs, which makes me think that when I sit down, I won't have to feel like my thighs are being restricted and that I would bust into the skirt. Um, it feels really comfortable. I'm not mad at it at all. I like the way it looks. It's a great skirt. It's a great staple. I feel like this season, this, um, this is pretty trendy, um, so I really like the skirt right now, and I can't wait to wear it, actually. So when I started blogging, one of my favorite things was to wear crop tops, and I haven't worn crop tops in a pretty long time, um, and when I saw this one in their Weekender collection, I was like, hold on, this is actually super freaking cute. I love the print, I bring the, they think the print is so pretty, um, and the fact that you're gonna see a little bit of belly when I wear jeans or some pants, um, it feels a little like nostalgic to me from like my first day of blogging and um, Yeah, let's try it on. I think this is gonna be a new favorite of mine, but let's see what happens I knew this was going to be a top that I would love. It's really cropped It's really out here when I wear skirts or jeans that are around this length It's probably going to show a little bit of skin just like a little slither of skin, which I don't mind I actually appreciate a lot um, I like the sleeves, you guys, a lot. It's kind of like big and roomy. The cuffs have these buttons right here that um, are not with fabric around them. They're just plain black um, buttons. And it's just one. Um, it's really cute, it's really comfortable. I can see myself wearing this again with jeans, pants. I can't, I don't have one bad thing to say about it. Probably in the future I'll let you know when I'm wearing it, if it slides up too much or if I have any issues like that when I'm sitting down. But so far, so good. Um, definitely one of the items that I would recommend um, from this collection. 
a lot. I've mentioned in other videos that I really wanted to get into wearing jeans a little bit more. And for me to wear jeans, I definitely wanted to wear tops that are a little bit more of a statement. And when I saw this top, I was like, this is great for jeans because it can dress it up super quickly um, and to make it look really like professional if you needed to or just a little bit sexier because it's a pretty deep V. Um, when I first tried it in the 22, I was about to pop out. So the 24, I'm assuming, is going to be perfect. Um, let's try it on. Putting this on was a bit of a journey because I was not being really smart and I kind of put my feet through the neckline and into because this is a bodysuit. Um, however, just unpluck the bottom part that comes off. My mistake. Um, but this is the top, you guys. I really like it. I think it's so pretty. Let me bring down the camera a little bit because I'm short. There we go. So this is the top, I just finished putting it on. I really like it, I think it's so pretty. It's really festive, I feel like you're, you know, you're feeling like the holidays, you wanna go into the office and let everyone know you're a Merry Christmas type of person, <laughs> Merry Christmas type of person. Um, you wanna wear this top, then this is something that is right up your alley. I just think it's really pretty. Um, I do know that the sleeves, or the hem part of the sleeves is, um, stretchy so even if you put it up and then you just kind of push down the sleeve a little bit still looks comfortable and feels comfortable sorry um the only problem i am having is with the actual little clips that they have right here this part keeps them popping i sized up it fits perfectly fine it's just a button as you guys can see keeps on popping if you don't mind that because you have bigger boobs and you kind of want your boobs to be out there then this is for you if not i would probably consider this top or have this fixed um, you see it just keeps popping out I don't know if I'm like pulling it too hard I wouldn't want to size up because then it just wouldn't fit the way it fits um, which I like the way it looks on my body so I'm just gonna probably add another clip or do something that makes it stay there right now it isn't uh, do you know that this is a bodysuit and if you take off your pants it's gonna look like a big thong in the front and in the back not uncomfortable at all you don't feel like it stretches a lot in the bottom area so yeah this is a red top this white top is super similar to the red one i just showed you however this one does not have a collar um this one is just kind of like a neckline that's dv um and again i just need to bring awareness to the fact that it is a bodysuit as well as the first one um the red one kind of stretches out a lot um let's see how much this one stretches out i hope it fits um again a good top to wear with jeans pants whatever you want a skirt yeah why not let's try it out i have the white top on and i feel like this one is much more comfortable than the red one at least when it comes to the button this one is not popping out i feel like the red one was probably cut a little too small um around the best breast area i actually just for like just to be honest i did not clip the bottom part i just left it unclipped because i know it fits it's comfortable down there um maybe that may be affecting why this isn't popping out um, I'm gonna see it just it's not as weak as the other button I mean I guess it is but this one is just holding on a little bit better than the red one the top is so pretty I like that silky vibe it has again something that I would want to wear with jeans as I am right now with pants skirts it's really really pretty I'm not mad at this shirt at all I really actually love it a lot um, you're probably gonna see me wearing this quite a bit um, it's a really cute top and how can you how can you be mad at this oh let's talk about the sleeves so the sleeves has these cuffs um and then it has these fabric buttons on them so just so you know very cute i actually want to get this top in every color because i really like it that much the next item in this haul and i think oh no it's not the last one we got two more items um it is this crocodile leather patent or full leather patent type of skirt you can see the texture of it up close with the lighting um it comes with a nice little belt it is very um stiff you should know that if you are someone who does not like to wear things that might feel a little bit more restrictive then you might want to skip on this one but let's try it on and see how it fits these size again as of, as the other ones unless i said it wasn't 
is a size 24. Let's give it a try and let's hope for the best because it's actually really cute and I really want to wear it. <laughs> All right, you guys, so I'm trying my best to show you this skirt, but because there's no one else no one else here to help me zip this up, I had to zip it up in the front, and then when I try to move it around, as you guys can see, there's like literally no movement because I'm so sweaty under this. This material is really sweaty, um, but I really like the way it looks. It's really, really pretty. I think it's extremely gorgeous. Um, I don't have any complaints aside from the fact that you kind of need help to put this on. Um, I, it can zip up completely in the back, like there's no issue. This size 24 fits me perfectly. Um, but just getting it to turn around was hard as hell. So I literally just have it open in the back um, a little bit, or most of it I should say, and I'm just wearing it. However, it does zip it fits perfectly. I'm just having a hard time doing it by myself. But it is a skirt I recommend. Um, maybe not something where you're going to be sitting down a lot, something where you're just going to be standing, maybe going to a party, um, and you're just trying to look cute, and this is something that you definitely want to wear. Not as great and not as comfortable to sit down, but really great um, as they look, so there's that. Okay, so this is an item that I always wear literally almost every day, and every single time I show people what I'm wearing for the day, and I'm wearing this um, pleather jacket from Eloquii, I get so many messages. Um, because it fits so perfectly. It looks so cool. It's so classic. I never want to take it off. I literally wear it in um, Anytime I can I'm probably gonna be wearing it today on my way out because today seems a little bit warmer than usual um, I just can't stop wearing it and I also have it in a hot pink color Because I tried it in the hot pink. I really loved it. So when I said when I saw that it was available in black as well It's a classic. I had to try it here it is. I know this fits like a glove. It's my favorite pleather jacket um, in the plus size options that I've had. Absolutely my favorite, hands down. We'll never not like this. I'm probably gonna get more of this jacket so that I can customize and make it a little bit more different, but absolutely super, super cool. I feel like one of the issues I tend to have with uh, pleather jackets or leather jackets is that they never feel right. However, this jacket, no matter what I'm wearing, if I'm wearing a thick top or a t-shirt or whatever it is, it fits properly. Look at the way this jacket fits. It's so, it's like cut perfectly. It's a little bit right above like my butt area, right on the waist for me. Um, I like that it's not super long. It's like the perfect jacket. Um, I, if you're looking for a jacket, you guys, this isn't, this, I just, if you're looking for a jacket, this is the one for you. I cannot say this, like, enough. It really is such a perfect jacket. I like the way it fits. I do have it in two different colors. I will probably be buying more colors in it because it fits so perfectly. I also have thought of um, DIYing this, kind of like adding things to it. I don't know yet, but I'm really excited. I feel like I need a plain black one that I can wear all the time and then adding another one that I can DIY. Um, it's such a great jacket. The, like, it just fits perfectly in airy area. There's not one part of this jacket that I would change. By the way, in this one, I am wearing the 22-24. Wow, get this one. If you get one thing out of this, it has to be this jacket. It literally fits perfectly, perfectly. I think it was last year when I realized that Eloquy was carrying um, uh, boots and shoes, and I kind of freaked out because there was a pair that I really wanted. I didn't get to get it because I was dumb. I don't know why I did it. There were some thigh highs that went literally all the way up to like the higher part of my thigh and I was dumbfounded. I have never had that option. So whenever they have really cool boots, I make sure that I get them um, and at least try them on because they are so worth it. The boots that I'm showing you guys right now are these really cool white boots. I feel like you guys, if you know my style, if you follow my Instagram and you see my outfits, I mean, I know a lot of you guys message me saying that you use my outfits as inspiration um, for what to wear, which I'm always really flattered, but you guys always notice that I'm wearing white booties. Um, and I'm still wearing white booties, but now I feel like this winter, this fall, I'm going to be wearing white boots, like really long ones. This one seems really wide, so I'm excited that this is going to fit properly. Um, the heel, of course, is super low. Um, let me show you how it looks on because I really can move the tripod a little bit lower, but I'll just show you from like my point of view, how it looks from up here, looking down below, 
However, it looks really, really cute, you guys. I'm obsessed. Oh, I really want to wear this again right now. Let's do it. All right, you guys, the boots are on. Let me show you. It's literally going above my knee. They're extremely comfortable. They look really cute. They're comfortable to walk in. Love them. Love them. This is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to check out our sponsors inbox. It is all in the description box below and right here on screen. Um, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.